Come on, people. Come on, people. Okay, this got to be an investigation. There's something about Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, Coach Optimus Prime, Coach, Coach Kickass in Florida State. Well, I know the man was not coaching the Florida State. It was coaching North Carolina. But looking at his track record, looking at where he's been at, it's almost like a who's who in recruiting circles. Mr. Brewster, Coach Brewster, Tim Brewster, is known to be the person to get that recruit. 61 years old, born in 1960. He played, I think, uh, as the University of Florida Gators. We ain't talking about that right now. We're talking about the history. A&M, North Carolina, uh, um, Florida State, Florida, Minnesota. Wherever he has gone, wherever he has gone, they've gotten top recruits. They got top tight ends. Are you kidding me? Coach O's already doing a hell of a job. Jackson State never had a problem in recruitment. Recruiting at Jackson State goes one hand on hand. Recruiting in Jackson State is like greens and hot sauce. You know what I mean? It's like getting pot roast and cornbread. It goes together. Biscuits and gravy. That's what Jackson State and recruiting is. Now, you want to have him just the biscuits and, and gravy. This man adding sauces to it. You want to have him the ribs and the uh, potato salad. This man bringing the damn brisket. <laughs> Jackson State is not looking to be a top a top HBCU school. Jackson State is looking to be a top school who happens to be an HBCU. I think there are only a couple of schools in the SWAC who have taken this Seriously. And those schools are going to be the last line of defense against a complete, total Alabama AM homecoming game every freaking week. Mr. Brewster, Coach Brewster, Timmy Baby, is going to have this game looking like damn mad known rookie with all of the damn, uh, XP points made, all the sliders up. If they can do what he wants to do, and we've already seen what he what he can do. With him and Coach O and over recruiting monsters down there in Jackson State. We already know Southern Mississippi don't want to play Jackson State. We already know Jackson State has no problem playing anybody. They want to play everybody they can. The problem's going to be it's going to get to a point. Jackson State is not going to be able to schedule anybody in the FBS. Say what you want to about North Dakota State and them beating the scrubs of the FBS, which is still a win. Y'all can have that. Clap, clap, clap. <clears throat> it's going to come to a point where when they do schedule FBS teams, it's going to be like East Tennessee State and Vanderbilt. I want to see the recruiting class of next year. If Coach Prime and Coach O, Coach Hart, 
Coach Thurman, Coach Brewster, everybody in Jackson, Mississippi can get a top 10 recruiting class. Not top 10 in SCS. If they can get a top 10 recruiting class, people, it's going to be a problem. Not a problem for Jackson. It's going to be a problem for college football all together. Because remember, no matter what people may think, people always say or think HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities, are only all black colleges. They're not. Never have been never will be. There's just certain things that go on at a PWI institution that HBCUs won't put up with. Your speech is free. You can talk all you want to talk. You gonna respect black folks. Respect everybody. That's what HBCUs put up with. And now with Mr. Brewster, y'all gonna have a problem I think I know exactly what he's going to do. It's something he's already done before. But this is going to happen next. Like the man said, they want to lock up North Carolina. His first thing they're going to try to do is lock up (laughs) Mississippi. Now, I'm not from Mississippi. My daddy, people, of Vicksburg. Not, not my daddy, but my daddy's my grandfather. I have roots in Vicksburg, put it like that. But all I know, Hattiesburg don't want to come up north to Jackson. I've heard it. I know Starkville ain't coming down there, and I know Oxford ain't coming down there. Are we going to start seeing Jackson State attacking the other schools in the, in the region? That's what I'm really looking at, man, because the way he attacks, the way Mr. Brewster attacks recruiting, him and Coach O are going to be a problem. That man wants everybody, the top talent in the state first doesn't want to hear anything about you let this kid get out. Let that kid get out. And what does that mean for those under-recruited kids? Those top players coming out in 2023? Your phone finna start ringing and I'm talking about your phone (laughs) your mama's phone your daddy's phone we know people are already already committed Mr. Perkins from Raleigh, Mississippi Mr. Williams from, from Ridgeland Mr. Smith from Fulton all old Miss recruits. Mr. Dow's not running back from Pickney, Mississippi, going to Oregon. Jamarius Brown, the edge rusher, Moss Point. Tobias Hinton from Hattiesburg. Max, I'm sorry, Matt Howard from Oxford, going to Utah. Doesn't Coach Prime has came out there and told you it does not matter the color of the skin. It matters can you play. And he is not going to allow any top talent to get out of Mississippi. You have to say no to Jackson State. You can't say they never recruited. People. I am not 
And trust me, I tell you this, I am not saying <laughs> Coach Prime holds a grudge. But by getting Tim Brewster, everywhere he's gone has had a dominant team. To get Tim Brewster at an HBCU means they are looking not to win the SWAC, not to win the Celebration Bowl. They are looking to turn this into a damn G League. You come to Jackson, you go to the league. You come to Jackson, you dominate. You go to the league. We may start seeing a lot more Alabama A&M scores than we did ULM scores. But for anybody recruiting in the state of Mississippi, anywhere in the state of Mississippi, I suggest you get on the phone with them kids right now. Because it's about to get very scary for your recruiting budget. I'm Coach Simmons with a unexpected video today. But, man, this is bigger than a lot of people think. We may see all roads lead to Jackson. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Like, bro, like every like then they then they